Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is new, so please subscribe and hit the bell button. Also like, comment, share. I would appreciate all of that so very much. To everyone watching and all of those who are already my subscribers, thank you so much. I love you all. I really do. I love your comments. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am an author. I'm writing a, an action-adventure love story series on superhero twin flames. Uh, I've written two books in the series. It's called Perception, The Two Yet One, books one and two. You can find links in the description box to purchase my books from Amazon. You can find links uh, to trailers that I created for each of them. I'm reading book one aloud to my Facebook friends and followers. I'm doing it live and then uploading it here to YouTube. I have uh, read up to chapter 11 so far, and there's 18 chapters, so I'm not done. But you can find links to those. There's a link for the playlist that I'm keeping them all in, as well as the trailers. Uh, you can find links uh, to my author's page on Facebook, as well as my personal wall. You can find links to um, view lives that I did about my life story, lives on Facebook that I did a few years back. I tell my life story. You can find a link to my friend April's uh, astrology channel that she just begun here on YouTube. Um, check her out. She's awesome. Subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, I'm offering those now. If you'd like to contact me to book one, the information for that is in the description box as well. Um, this is a timeless reading. If, uh, if you're attracted to it, I... I trust that one is that's when it is right for you. Um, I read major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint, which is the plan that you made before you incarnated here on the planet to learn certain lessons that raise the vibration of your soul. I view minor arcana as um, messages about your free will as a being. An upside down card means the energy is not fully in manifestation. It doesn't really have a reversed meaning. And I'll let you know what they mean um, as far as the position goes. Uh, this is the Celtic Cross. I read the positions differently than other readers. So let's get going. Okay, so at the heart of everything for you right now, Capricorn, there has been a big change. And it has very much to do here with Mars. Mars has been in Aries and retrograde for a while. It is about to uh, end this Friday on November 13th. What it has been doing, um, those planets have been really working on the divine masculine. For those of you who don't know, um, everyone has masculine and feminine energies within them. And currently the divine masculine has been getting worked on a great deal. Aries uh, is ruled by Mars. Aries is all about war and aggression. Well, not all about, but that was the, um, Aries was the god of war in the old days. Um, Mars is uh, the masculine energies and Venus is the feminine energies. So when Mars goes through this type of um, retrograde, uh, it really uh, stirs things up here for the masculine here on the planet. And what it's doing is it's trying to take the masculine from being the, the, the toxic, uh, the toxic masculine to the sacred masculine. Okay. It, we usually call it the distorted masculine or the distorted feminine when they're toxic. Okay. Now, there's been a big change in your life that has probably had something to do with that, but I'm, they're really drawing me to this dove of peace up here, okay? So, um, among all this that looks like chaos, and it was done with this strength through Mars, peace will come of it, okay? So, this is a major arcana card. This is a message about your divine blueprint. You were definitely supposed to experience this tower moment. It means this tower, if, if something can knock this tower down, which is usually a lightning strike, that means it wasn't built on a firm foundation, okay? And this was um, knocked down in order to be rebuilt the right way, okay? 
and they just keep showing me this eye too so I'm feeling like your mind's your third eye saw this coming and so this is a, a lesson that your third eye or your intuition is much stronger than you think it is The next energy that we read is the energy that is directly affecting this, which is at the heart of everything for you at this time, this change that you've just had. Now, here you've got um, this conflict that you're going through. Here is Mars again. Okay. Now, this is fire energy. This is, this is the sign for Leo. So you have Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, which are fire, uh, fire signs. But you have got this Mars here twice. So it's that's one of the reasons why I was really, really, really feeling that this is your masculine. Masculine is also things like conflicts and fights and things like that. And that's what this is. This is a conflict. This is some sort of aggression. And your masculine uh, is being, I keep hearing tested but also uh, reshaped, okay? Now, the thing about this conflict in particular is that you will have or do have the upper hand. Ah, it's because of your intuition, okay? Um, fire energy is energy itself. This may have something to do with your career as wands um, represent career what, whatever we do for a living if you're a student it's going to school if you're retired it's the volunteer work you do whatever you do, do during the day this is what's going on whatever you're passionate about and that of course includes your spiritual life okay fire also represents spirit and your sacred masculine which is very spiritual and you wouldn't be watching tarot if you weren't on some sort of spiritual journey um, this is definitely, your, your divine masculine is um, being shown how to use your intuition, I'm hearing. Uh, look at all this. I mean, I don't always see this much fire in this tower card. But together, with, the, the t with, oops, with Mars here and Mars here, and then this sh shooting fire out of this mouth. Wow, I, I'm also seeing some sort of similarity be with this snake or worm-like being here. And, and this right here next to this caduceus wand. Interesting. I, I, just, I just read and things just start getting shown to me and I just start saying things. And it's so interesting to me, every single reading. But remember that you will have the upper hand, okay? And this will be a passionate conflict, but it's going to be the kind that you will have the upper hand. Now, here is the root of everything, is that you have been going through a big hunk and change, okay? This is a new cycle, okay? Now, notice, notice this eye. It's right here, too. Okay, but your, your guides really want you to know that you really need to trust your intuition now. Masculine or feminine energy that you are concentrated on. Um, masculine, if you don't know what those are, look them up, masculine and feminine. But if you were um, using your intuition for, say, artwork, that would be feminine. Okay, if you're using your intuition for this conflict, that's the masculine. So your, your intuition is very important here because it's being heightened uh, for the masculine right now and for the sacred masculine, not the distorted masculine. And this is part of this portal that you're going through. This is the shape of the um, Vesica Pisces. You might want to look that up. And it's not spelled Pisces the way uh, it is um, for the zodiac. Just V-E-S-I-C-A, and you'll, you'll see how to spell that if, if you Google it, okay? So this is a portal you're going through. This is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. And it was brought in rather powerfully by this tower moment, which was part of your destiny. 
this is the uh, card that is moving out of your life at this time okay now I'm I'm just they are telling you here Capricorn in three cards three cards of major change for the, the from the major arcana that this was supposed to happen just them being major arcana for me as a reader tell me that this was supposed to happen this was something that you wrote in your plan for this life before you incarnated these are all karma destiny cards this is an event that changes things this is a change in your cycles you're going into a new cycle this is often called the world in other decks and this means the wheel of fortune has turned if it was upside down, I would say, oh, it still has to turn. But no, this is right side up. So this is all a huge part of your divine blueprint right now. Whatever this tower moment was, whatever new cycle you're moving into, it's telling you, look, you've got the power. You will probably win whatever conflict this is because you have the upper hand. And it was supposed to occur. And I feel that it's going to be very fortunate for you. Okay, because of these three very major lessons. Just a moment. Stop it. Sorry, guys, I had to get my dog to stop chewing on herself so much. Um, so, yeah, this, this is destiny. This is a card of karma. And I feel this is a good karma. Okay? It, it may not have felt like it, it you know, it's, even if you're going through a conflict, it doesn't feel like good karma. You're like, what, Allison, what do you mean this is good karma? It will turn out that way. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's all for your own good. And especially if your masculine energies are being worked on. Now, this is a 10 they pointed out to me. They said, look at the, look at the number. This is an ending. Of course it is. We have this ending of a cycle down here. We have this major change, which is the ending of the way things were before. Okay, I feel like I'm repeating myself about the masculine. Now, for me as a reader, these are two um, future cards, okay? We'll see which one goes first by how they read. I move down and around in a circle, so this is the one I read next. And you are about to have the last battle, okay? You'll see, this, because this is upside down, this isn't in its full energy. In its full energy, uh, nine. Nine is almost the end, okay? Like I said, this one was a 10. Tens are endings, okay? And in the minor arcana, you have cards ace through 10. So when you have a nine, it means you're almost there, which is what this is. This is like one, this means one last battle to go. You're still in the dark down here and one more battle and you'll be finally illuminated. You'll be up there in the light. Um, this may have something to do with the Sagittarius, but definitely a lot of fire here. Okay, you've got the, the wands here, which has Leo. This is more wands here, which has Sagittarius. And here we have wands again and I, I i'm not clear on her hers i think she's a sagittarius as well i'm gonna have to look that up now this is happiness the sun is happiness when you're done with these battles you can drop them the ten of wands is where you just feel like you're overwhelmed you just you're but the thing about that one is that you're done okay now, this is the last battle. This represents it right here. It's the seven, yes. But this is the battle that you are currently going through. That's why this is like this. You have one more battle to go through before you can drop your burden, which is the ten of wands. Okay? And this is telling you, this is called strength. This is telling you to just take a breather. This is like the eye of the storm as well. Um, take a breather and, 
and because in a minute you're going to need to summon all of the all of your strength for the very last battle okay which is coming or you're already in it so stay strong now this is the next future card after okay so this one will come first and then this one this is when you're going to feel confident okay once you get through this once you find you win this battle when you win this battle you're going to get your power back you're going to get your confidence back you're going to feel awesome you're going to feel on top of the world you're going to feel uh powerful and they're showing me again see how her head is shining very much like the eye here and on see how the eye is, has rays coming out see it her head is very much like that the eye in this card as well is is shining like that because this is your third eye this is also um the one that sees everything i feel i'm hearing that that this one in this card is the one that sees everything not not like the eye of sorrow <laughs> in the lord of the rings but like like the creator okay now oh and they said that's why we're all given an internal eye like that our third eye is like a tiny eye of the creator that sees everything Ooh, i love that thank you very much guides okay so what she's doing is notice how her eyes are closed can we focus, focus, focus? There we go. Her eyes are closed. That's because she's using her third eye. She is power. This is the queen of wands. She is fire. She is passion. She is confidence. She is attractive, beautiful, uh, social butterfly. Um, people are just love her. Okay, man or woman, this is the energy that you're going to be feeling. You're going to be feeling like strutting your stuff. Um, but your masculine is is what is going to be adjusted. And it is, it is the, um, your strength, your determination, your courage uh, to allow your feminine to shine. Okay, now here is your hope card love or a partnership okay cup is water energy that is intuition okay now this is right side up so this is the minor arcana card for the lovers card and the major arcana this is a very important love this is the kind of love that can move mountains now, whether this be a business partnership or some other kind of partnership, um, you'll know which is right for you. A bit business or love, love, relationship, you'll know which one resonates with you. This is what you're hoping for. And because it is, um, because it is right side up, its energy is fully manifested. You have been hoping for this energy for quite some time, okay? Now, they're telling me, see how love and intuition go together. You, you, they're saying you use your intuition a great deal in love. You really do. And when your intuition uh, about a love relationship throws you off is when your love relationship is thrown off. Okay? So, I think that there's, yeah, your masculine energies, they're saying, is, are getting finely attuned. Uh, and your third eye. No, oh no, your masculine and your third eye together, because I think they're saying that your third eye and your feminine together are working just fine. How interesting. Because this is the first time I have ever even thought about that happening. They're teaching me right now. Your third eye abilities and your feminine are working beautifully. 
your third eye abilities and your masculine are being fine-tuned, adjusted to work beautifully as well. Wow, that is really cool. I can't wait to tell everybody I know that. Okay, so this is your state of being. Okay, now you are beginning to work really hard. Okay, this is the this is the card of learning a new skill. Learning a new skill through your masculine. And you're going to be using it a lot. This is a Virgo energy too. This is what you have here. They're showing me now. This is the sun. The sun is represents the masculine energy. The sun is the masculine. The moon, the moon is the feminine. Sun is masculine. The moon is feminine. Okay. And this is the sun. Whenever you see a little circle and a dot, that's the sun. And down here, what we have is Virgo. Virgo is a feminine. You'll when the representative of Virgo is a virgin. You know, you like the scales represent a Libra. A woman represents Virgo, for the virgin. So this is the feminine too. This is the sun and the moon. This is the masculine and the feminine as well. They're pointing out to me, which I never thought about with this card either. But if it's not only you learning how to use your intuition through your masculine um, energies, this is also you learning a new skill, something um, very earthly. It's your energy. Okay? So, you know, like a new skill or a new trade, possibly going to school, you're on the verge of that. Or you're just now beginning to. Now, here is your fear card. Now, this is, it's upside down, so, woo, you know, that's good. <laughs> here is Venus. That's the feminine, okay? And down here we have Aquarius, which you, you really cannot see in this card at all. The two little wavy lines right there are Aquarius. Now, this is um, air energy, which is Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Okay. Libra is ruled by Venus, um, but this is an Aquarian and Venus card. Now, as a, as a fear, I can understand why this is your fear. What this is, is the, the kind of conflict where you're not really, it's not the good conflict. It's the kind where there's rumors, gossip, um, people uh, just, you know, unfair conflict. Okay, so I don't blame you for, for fearing this, but um, it's just sort of in the back of your mind right now because it's not fully manifested, okay? Now, every time I get a, a worry card, though, I tell people, try not to worry about this, especially if it's upside down because if it was like this, it would be even worse. It would be like you have this almost manifested. Whatever you think of, which is also... Sword energy. Sword energy is mind, intellect, logic. It's your, it's your thoughts, okay? Whatever you think, you bring into being, okay? So don't let this card flip and turn in and become full power. Because it will affect your feminine, I'm hearing. It'll affect your feminine energies. Yeah, and you're learning one of the things. No, that's what it is. One of the things that you will learn through your masculine is how to protect your feminine energies with your intuitive sacred masculine energies. So, don't worry about this kind of stuff. Wow. I am learning a lot in this reading. Okay, so here is your outcome. And it is the manifesting energy of the priestess. Now, what is she doing? Her eyes are closed. See the similarities? Her eyes are closed. Her eyes are closed. Now, she, she is using her mind's eye. Like I was showing you the, this eye, you know? So I'm feeling like this is representing your masculine third eye and the confidence it's going to give you 
This is your feminine third eye that is going to be perfected. Since you've already got it going pretty good down here, you're going to learn how to protect it. And it will flip this card and it will be in full force and it will be perfected. Your, your intuition is being fine-tuned. This, for some reason, I think this is a bow of some sort, but for some reason I'm feeling like these are like guitar strings. And these are all your feelers. And I've never gotten this um, from any reading before, but these, these have often reminded me of the Divine Blueprint. But these are like all her energetic feelers. But for right now, to me, they feel like a harp or a guitar that is being fine-tuned. And she's not using her two eyes just like this queen over here. She's using her third eye. She's using her knowing. And you see the rainbows? Those are all her chakras being opened. If you don't know what chakras are, that's going to help you. Look them up and start clearing them immediately. Because what the priestess does is she sees. You see how she is the moon? And I was just saying that the masculine is the sun and the feminine is the moon and they're pointing that out again okay and the moon represents things that are unseen things that are hidden from us um, even deception when you fine-tune your intuition you will be able to see through deception you'll be able to see through people you'll be able to see through things and times that are deceptive to you for your detriment and that's why you've gone through this major change, and that's why it's fortunate for you. Wow. Wow, Capricorn. What an awesome reading. Um, yeah, you are about to be the priestess. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. It's an energy. Now... The feminine energies are creation themselves, itself, okay? That's why she has all this abundance at her feet. She brought that there by the power of her mind. By shining. Now you'll see here that this is the pine cone at the end of the Queen of Wands' wand. The end of her uh, wand here. And the pine cone um, represents the pineal gland which is the gland that gives us our dreams and hallucinations, but is also what is um, what our intuition runs on. The pineal gland is our third eye. Okay? Yeah, so she shines like the sun, and she shines like the arch of the moon. They're showing me that. This is you. That's way cool. Okay, and here is the energy, the underlying energy on the bottom of the deck for you. And this is going to be a whole new era in your life. Um, to me, these are a lot alike. Okay, this represents a new cycle. People go through cycles all the time. This People go through portals in their lives all the time. This represents a whole new era. Okay, so it's a bigger chunk of time. It's not exactly a cycle. It's like, a, you know, like another 10 years or something. You know, you look back on your life and one era was your childhood. The next era was you raising your children. The next era was, you know, and so forth. This is a new era that's coming in and it has everything to do with you learning about your intuition. Wow. And there you go. There's your happy family. That's what I was just talking about. You know, um, the era where you're a child and then you raise your children. You're going to have a very, very happy family life. This is what you inherit, whether it's DNA or money. You may come into some inheritance. What? What? Wow. Okay. All right. These are the two happiest tens that you can get. And there they are, right next to each other, Capricorn. And they're both right side up. They are both fully manifested, waiting for these. You go through this eon, you're going to have happy health and wealth, and then also a great deal of happiness in the family that you choose. 
This is the happy ending. They're both happy ending cards. And then here is your joy of life. Fully, you're going to feel like a kid again. You're going to feel, see, this is the princess of wands. This is the queen of wands' daughter. So she has the sun at the end of her wand. This is joy. This is loving life. This is getting swept away like a teenager with the joy and beauty of life. Wow, and you are totally going to learn how to manifest everything that you want into your life, and you are totally meant to. This is you understanding the forces at work in your life now. Wow, Capricorn, what's next? Oh my goodness, this is the firm foundation. Okay, this is, this is you right there. And there's the sun again. This is a happy, solid foundation. This is a new foundation where this, this tower was built on an unsteady, like crappy foundation. One bolt of lightning knocked it down. You are rebuilding a new tower or a new foundation that is going to be very strong. And you're using earth, air, fire, and water for it. Of course you are, because by this time, you're going to be the Magus, who uses all of these energies to manifest what he desires in life. What is under this? Wow, there's the Prince of Wands. Okay, your passion is going to be off the hook. Off the hook. You've got the whole family of wands um, speaking up for you here. You've got the prince, the princess, the queen. He knows what he wants and he goes after it. He's going to get it. Oh, wow, well, there's the princess of discs. You're going to be very fertile with your with your um, balanced masculine and feminine ener energies. And there's more wands energy, the six of wands. This is victory. Oh, my goodness. It just goes on and on here, Capricorn. Victory, full-on victory. And then the queen of discs. So it's like you've got full-on discs and fire energy working for you here. So passion in your earthly life. And there you are. There you are, Capricorn. What's underneath this? And enlightenment. You will have a whole new perspective and you will be enlightened. This is one of the best readings I think I've done in, in a while. It's just really super good here, Capri uh, Capricorn. Now, <clears throat> pardon me. It's getting a little long. Um, how much uh, control do you have over the situation? I gauge that by the number of major arcana to minor. And you have one, two, three, and four. So four out of ten cards means this is a huge turning point in your life. This is more than just a portal. This is the beginning of a new era in your life. Uh-huh, a double ten. Whew. Wow, wow, look at that. This could even be 20 years, okay? This is a new era in your life, and it's going to be awesome because of your new powers of intuition. Wow, beautiful Capricorn. That's what I have for you this time. See you next time.